What's shaking, everybody? It's your boy, King of the Golden State, coming at you with a whole video. Um, first of all, I gotta say, uh, pardon me if you guys hear the fan in the background, or if I sound tired and exhausted, but it is hot. It is really hot. Like, it's been going anywhere between, like, 90 and 113 degrees. It's insane. Just depending on where you're at. You know, like... Like, I'm from the Bay Area, so I'm basically from the East Bay, so it's it's not as hot as it is, like, inland, say, places like Stockton, um, or even Sacramento, or all those places where it's just scolding hot, where it's, like, it's it's flirting with, like, 120, it's flirting with that, it's insane, like, Napa County has got, like, 108, last I checked, but you don't want to hear about my, uh, you guys don't want to hear about my, uh, my suffrage in life. <laughs> But anyway, before I go any further, you know the deal. Hit the like button down below. Uh, down below, hit the thumbs up, right down below. Also, uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think, and also subscribe. Also, you want to be a subscriber. It's very important, especially with the uh, the next uh, slab I'll be putting up. Yes, it's a, it is a slab for this week two uh, giveaway. And uh, but right now I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from. Uh, you know, from a bunch of hunts over the weekend. Um, yeah. God, where do I begin? I guess I could start with, uh, like, hitting up the uh, South Bay. I actually ran around the South Bay and hit up a shop that me and my buddy are waiting for to open up. Um, I, I guess all the information on uh, on Google is incorrect with the whole COVID thing going on. So when it comes to, like, work, when it comes to store hours, you're kind of, like, not certain if they're opening at 10 or 11. So... We thought they opened at 10. We got there, and there's a sign that says open at 11. So I think they're just changing things due to COVID. So it's kind of such a pain in the ass. But uh, yeah, we hit up a couple places. Garage sale, a couple shops. Um, the shop we went into that opened at 11. Um, first of all, you know, they did a usual thing. So when you go into a shop, first thing I ask is, all right, what are the rules here? Because you want to find out what it is before you start running around and it starts yelling at you and giving you hell. So they told you the usual thing. You sanitizer, um, have you been around? This one was like, have you, they're asking, have you been around anybody in the last 14 days? Which was kind of weird. I felt like I was at work when I heard all this stuff. So it's like, I was like, I told them no, 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 whatever. And then they said, okay, you can go in. Oh, by the way, you have 20 minutes. 20 minutes. How do you hunt for comic books in 20 minutes? That's insane. So me and my buddy looked at each other and said, all right, well, let's keep going. So I just start grabbing stuff by the handful as soon as I saw something didn't decide because I was going to look up the prices on some of these books I picked up and I was kind of like, you know, what? I only have 20 minutes, which kind of sucks when you're hunting for comic books. And the thing is, some comic shops do sometimes enforce that, but this one really did enforce it and it was really a bummer. So... Um, so we start digging around a dollar bins. I start going down and I saw like, I like, I didn't care. It was like a, you know, I grabbed like a handful of, uh, Spider-Man 234. I think I grabbed six copies. I didn't have time to decide whether I wanted one or two. I saw all six and grabbed all six. I said, screw it. Cause you know, why not? Uh, first appearance of the iron spider. Um, and yeah, and, and all these cost me like, a, you know, like, I think two bucks all together. So you know, that was cool, but it's like, I just didn't have time to make a decision, and it kind of sucked, so, you know, just being under all this pressure, you know, like, all this pressure, so I went through their back issue bins, found an Ultimates number two variant, you know, and that was for a pretty decent price, I think it was like 15 or so, saw this sitting around, I already have a copy, uh, Hawkeye versus Deadpool Zero, that's supposed to be, um, supposed to be the, uh, like a cameo drawn in a like sort of small cameo of um, Spider Gwen and Jane Foster Thor. So it was, it was you know, I, I didn't like I said I didn't have time to just like make a decision. It, it just kind of was kind of like all right, do it or not, and I did, and that was cool. Um, let me see. Went, also went to the other back issue bins and found these in here in there as well as uh, Black Panther uh, number two. Uh, three copies of these, the second printing, the Run the Jewels variant, which I thought, man, these was pretty dope. I think I have two copies of these, but they were five bucks each, and I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna buy them, because uh, I only have 20 minutes, <laughs> and it just sucked having so much time to do that, so, um, yeah, grab that, um, also, 
Let me see. Went to and, it, and you know the thing is they, the the sucky thing about that shop is they made you go through the back issue bins which are great, but then after you put on a sanitizer, now they say hey put on rubber gloves and I'm like, all right, all right, that's fine. It, it I mean, I mean I'm willing to roll the dice with them. That's fine. It just kind of sucked having to do one one roll one die here and another die and it's like whatever you know i'm stepping on one plate with another plate and it's just kind of annoying so so you know we had we, we had enough time because um the the line i guess outside when it opened they 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 eventually went away so it wasn't so bad so uh went to a yard sale uh hit up a quick yard sale before i hit that shop up so i'm kind of out of order guys sorry but Decided to uh, grab a couple book, oh, books for a dollar. Uh, some dollar books here. Uh, Punisher number three, that's a variant. Also grab a couple copies. Uh, Wonder Woman 222, it's uh, Wonder Woman and Cheetah. Great J.G. Jones cover. Um, for a dollar, couldn't say no. I already have it, but I figured why not? And it's just something to grab. Same with this, Black Panther number three. Um, yeah, J. Scott Campbell cover. I mean, I found a bunch of those in there. And you know found that too the black panther number two that's a second printing variant and i was kind of like all right well i was like surprised the first time i saw a copy in here for that and this black panther number three but then again you start seeing multiples and you're like all right well it's not that big of a surprise now so speaking of j scott campbell got a x-men world's apart number one that's a really cool j scott campbell cover also for a dollar fallen sun death of captain america that's the first appearance of uh, Hawkeye and Kate Bishop on the cover first together, first cover appearance together, so that's pretty cool. I already have like I think two of these already, but I love grabbing it. It's a great Alex Ross cover of uh, Black Adam and Mary Marvel, but and Isis on the cover by Alex Ross is a great cover. I really dig that. So for a dollar, I couldn't say no. I also grabbed this from that yard sale. It's uh, Annihilation Conquest Wraith, and that's a the origin of Wraith, if I recall. So for a dollar, couldn't say no. So that was, that was my uh, yard sale pickup. That was pretty cool. Went up north uh, with a buddy of mine. Actually, let me uh, back up a little bit. During the week, I went down to a, uh, I went to a shop after work. It wasn't too far away, so I figured I'd grab a few things I found over at the uh, shop I went to. It's like a small little, uh, I guess it's a small, quaint comic shop, I guess you could say. So I found a, I figure I'd, with the whole thing with this Chadwick Boseman thing, I figure I'd grab a couple of the books that, you know, people are probably gonna end up grabbing like crazy. Shuri. So, on, on top of that, I found a uh, <laughs> Ultimates number two. Uh, that's a variant. I think there's something up with that, co that cover. Nope, that's a bag, excuse me. Yeah, so uh, Mike Diodato variant I found in the same shop. So I found out in their variant pile just sitting there chilling. So this book's definitely going to get probably the uh, CGC treatment. But uh, I picked that up. And like I said about Shuri, I found, I figured I'd snag a bunch of these. Just just for the hell of it. I'm not going to, I saw I saw an, e, e, an eBay ad for um, Shuri number one's 9.8 uh, being offered at 9.79. Because they're trying, they're trying to jump on a whole... Uh, you know, Chadwick Bozeman thing, you know, and I, for me, I, I, personally, the difference between me and what that guy's doing is I'm pretty much hoarding these because who knows? I mean, like, I'm not looking to like immediately try to like sell books that say Shuri because she's going to probably be the next Black Panther. That's silly. So like, I have a feeling that this character is going to be like the next Naomi in a weird way. You know, like people are going to go nuts over this. But the problem is, I don't think it's going to be that easy because the print count on this comic book is very low. Like, that could be either good or bad, but the print count on a Shiri comic book is very, very low. Because back when this came out, back in 2018, like, uh, nobody, like, let's be honest, nobody bought this. Nobody went after this. This was not their first, their first, their first move to, to just jump on, you know, on Shuri for a set, for, you know, for, for word, for sake of speaking. It's just, no one, let's be honest, no one really cared. You know, I mean, and now, you know, things are going to probably change now because, you know, people are going to be after Shuri left and right ever since the whole Chadwick Boseman passing. So, like, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. And, you know, hopefully people are just 
real thoughtful on picking up something like Shuri. I mean, like, read the book, too. Read the book. There's nothing wrong with reading this title. I, mean, I, I read I read this first issue, and it was actually pretty good. So, you know, just at least give it a read before you start trying to, like, flip this for, like, crazy cash. Like I said, there's a ridiculous eBay ad eBay ad out there right now where it's where some guy's trying to sell a 9.8 for 9.79. It's crazy. So, I picked that up. Uh, picked up uh, also a couple other Shuri issues here, like uh, number two, which is really a cool cover. I really like this cover. You know, I had two, found two copies of that, and also uh, a copy of the second printing. Now, the second printing, like I said, no one cares. You know, about a character like Shuri. You know, now, before, but now they're they're all over it now. Um, talk about low print count. This is one of 996 copies for a second printing. So if you do find this, by all means, you should probably grab this, you know, without a doubt. Because like, like I said, talk about a low print count. There's 996, not even a thousand. So, you know, I picked that up. Also, I found a second prints of Shiri number three. So it was pretty cool picking those up. But yeah, I mean, like, it's also a good story, guys. Uh, give it a shot, you know, give it a quick read and see, you know, see what you think. If you like it, pick up more. So, also picked that up from uh, a shop. Also, uh, went up north with a buddy of mine. So we kind of took a turn in the wrong direction a little bit. We're supposed to go uh, more inland instead of outland. That was my fault. I take all fault with that. Uh, went through a shop's dollar bin. Found a bunch of stuff that I usually do, like dollar or half off the cover. All America Comics number one. It's a one shot of America. It's a first appearance of America Velasquez uh, from the from the creator Joe Casey, who creates um, who created America Chavez from uh, from uh, the Marvel universe. So this is an image comic book called All America Comics. So found that for half off. Uh, went through these and uh, picked up a number of uh, New Avengers issues. Let's see. Uh, Whereas New Avengers number seven, that's where Black Panther is going against Namor, and Namor is declaring war on Wakanda. That can't end up, that can't end up very good, but who knows what happens down the line. Good spec book to have, actually. Uh, another good spec book to have: uh, All American Jesus, or all, for me, All American Jesus. Uh, number one, found that you know in the uh, in the half off bin. Got these for two bucks. Those are pretty cool. That and a variant. Uh, found a Once in Future, number one. That's a six print. Great Dan Moore cover. You know, got that one for half off, so it was like two bucks. And the cool thing about this shop I went to up north, you know, you, you catch up on a lot of your, um, uh, on titles that you're behind on that you've been meaning to pick up and read. For example, uh, I already have Undiscovered Country number one, but I don't have number two. And yeah, that's a great cover right there. I'm not sure who did that. That's a variant, though. Um, uh, number three, also a number th three variant here. That's a Greg Capullo variant. Also grab myself a number four and I got a number five, a great Phil Noto variant. Here are good things about this. Also, um, number five, just a regular cover. Yeah. I, so like I have a, like about three or four copies of a uh, number one, but haven't read them. And I kept saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna pick up a, the other issues and I haven't got around to doing that so it was a pretty good opportunity to pick these up for half off so basically two bucks each so it was pretty cool to just take that opportunity to grab them so if you ever get to a shop that has books like these for half off and you've been meaning to read stuff like that take the opportunity go and do it I, I highly encourage you guys to do that also another book that eh, didn't bother me too much but New Avengers uh number 21 is a variant I'm not even sure who did the cover of that but it was a pretty cool uh Hawkeye cover I always run into this Dr. Fate number one. This one was like half off, so it was like a buck fifty. So it's got like three spine ticks, but whatever. I mean, there's still spec about that character for the longest time. So whenever I see a number one, I just grab it. I saw this hanging around there and I thought it was a really cool, you know, Michael Cho uh, variant of Empire uh, number two. And I, I really never read the, the uh, series at all. So. I just like the cover. It was a really cool cover of uh, Sue Storm. And uh, also the, um, what's your face? You know, Sue Storm being the Invisible Woman. Uh, another couple of specs I found, which I couldn't believe they're still sitting in these back issue bins for this price. 
because they're talking about, talking about an option. Descender number one. Uh, I think this is like my fourth copies now because it's like I, I know I got one in slab but I hadn't pressed it. I probably should have gotten it pressed, but it came back a nine six. But these, yeah, just saw these in the uh, in the back issue bin. So ten bucks each, and you know, they go for a little bit more than that. But I was pretty stoked to see those sitting around. So it's good to stack those up and put them in a spec box for for now until things turn around. You never know. Um, also. You know, went to a uh, shop in the Berkeley area, and I was kind of like, eh, let me see if I can find something, because I really didn't have much to do that day. Uh, quick stack, guys, real quick. Uh, went and found that in a back issue box, Star Wars Legacy number four, I think it's the first appearance of somebody. It might be that guy. <laughs> also, Hero Gasm, found another one of those. You know, first appearance of Soldier Boy, which has already been confirmed that J uh, Jansen Ackles or Ankles or Ackles is going to be in the uh, it's going to be in, on the show. So that'll be season three. So that's pretty cool. Found that in a uh, small back issue box, Star Wars number four. It's the first appearance of Sana Solo. It's supposed to be in disguise. <laughs> the shop I went into, but like I guess they're specking on Shuri too because I found a. Uh, uh, Shuri variant number one, and that's the uh, Carlos Pacheco variant, and I got this for like half off of their price. So I think it was like five bucks. Yeah, half off of the, half off of their uh, thing in there. And as soon as I brought it to the register, they're like, "Oh, we thought we thought we got all of them." Oh well, uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> so it was kind of cool to see that. You know, so it's good to have that put aside. You know, also in the in the Berkeley area. Found some other cool stuff. Found another American Jesus number one. That's a black and white, co I think cover B for a dollar. You know, um, don't sleep on the American on the American Jesus stuff. This is a sequel to a three issue miniseries I was on Dark Horse called Chosen, The Chosen. So, and that was by Mark Millar as well. So, if you get a chance, do indeed go pick up um, a lot of dollar books that are Mark Millar related. You know, so because like the Millar world. Um, you probably be happy about it if you do. So, Silver Surfer Black found that for cover. That was pretty cool. A nice, you know, Ron Lim cover. I, I, I love Ron Lim stuff. Silver Surfer Black, a regular issue. Got that one for cover. That was pretty dope. And uh, this one is a steal. Uh, totally Awesome Hulk number one. Uh, the difference is, is a second print. Uh, second prints usually go for a lot higher based on the print run. Um, so this one's been uh, aimed around 60, 50 or sixty dollars compared to the uh, compared to the regular issue number one first print goes for I think for like twenty at best. This one's going for like sixty, so it's pretty cool to see that. Going through a dollar bin, <laughs> I couldn't believe I found this in there. But uh, Rye number one, that is uh, yeah, it's a pretty rare copy to find. I mean, everyone finds Rye number zeros everywhere, but number ones are hard to come by. So there's that. This one's in a dollar bin, but it's not perfect. Uh, Saga of the Swamp Thing, number 25. That's the first cameo of John Constantine. I was pretty stoked to see that, you know, just sitting around. So for a dollar, or for two dollars actually, you know, I was able to pick that up. It's got little tears in the corners here, but it's everything else is all together. So it's probably like a four or five at best, you know, mid grade copy, you know, but. Uh, but that's not the one that really got me going, because I thought that was the book that was going to you know, get me all excited, but uh, I was pretty stoked to find these in the dollar bill. Angela, NASCAR's Assassin. These are one out of 50 Rio Taylor incentive variants. Now, these books are pretty close to looking nice, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, could you use a press? Um, maybe at best they come back 9.6, 9.8s. Nine, uh, as far as the prices on eBay, they go for a pretty good chunk. And I couldn't believe these things were sitting in the dollar bin. I was like, what the hell is going on here? But I wasn't going to argue. So I was like, I just love the covers. They're really cool covers. Phil Jimenez variants, uh, one out of 50. And uh, Phil Jimenez, the artist, is a jerk one. So, um, you know, don't ask me, ask him. He's kind of a jerk. Uh, yeah, found these for a dollar each. And most likely, I'm going to have to send these out to get pressed and get them slabbed. Um, definitely worthy of that. The corners are sharp. Uh, 
got a little wrinkles on you know on, on the top but i think those are definitely get pressed out and we'll see what these look like when they come back in probably a month or so but uh also went to another shop up north actually didn't find anything in that shop but found books i need i needed for the longest and i hadn't gone around to getting them back but see them sitting around for cover i was like all right hell yeah uh star wars age of republic special number one that's the first appearance of Ahsoka Tano in canon, Marvel canon. So, you know, we all know that she, her first appearance is, uh, is uh, Star Wars Clone Wars number one, but that's by Dark Horse. This is a Marvel appearance. So, found that for cover. It's a good book to hold on to, you know, knowing that she's going to appear in The Mandalorian. You know, so it's a good, good part of the spec box for me. Josh Graff kept talking about this all the time, but I'm going to show it anyway. But... He kept saying, if you get a chance, pick up this uh, Thor number five, third printing. And that's the appearance of uh, the Black Winter, you know. And uh, I was like, all right, sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Um, also got these from, I got that from my LCS. Also from my LCS. Got this one. I've been wanting this one. I'm not sure who the artist is. I forgot off the top of my head. I'm sure it's going to hit me after this video. But uh, Black Widow number one, I think it's a one in 25. Yeah. Of course, I got the Adam Hughes covers, but those weren't. Uh, it's just a regular cover. I just wanted to vary on that one. And speaking of variants that I'm really stoked to get, that my, that my uh, LS, uh, LS, L LCS came through for is uh, we only. What is it called? It's the craziest title. I know I got the name here. We only care about them when they're dead or something? I got the name. Hang on. Only something of them because they're dead. It, it's the longest title, longest, most complicated title. It's like we only care about them when they're dead, I think it's called. Yeah, so it's that title. So it's a great Jenny Frizen, one out of 50 variant. Um, definitely gonna have to get this one slabbed. Uh, it's a great cover. I really love it. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, you know, as far as my haul goes, that's it. I know this video is going pretty long, it's like 22 minutes. Sorry to force you guys into watching what I what I got recently, but let me show you what is going to be a part of the uh, week two giveaway. Week two, which I think I'm going to try to get on Sunday as opposed to Monday. If not, you guys will be informed, but week two's giveaway will be this. It'll be Batman, Shadow the Bat number one. That's a 9.6. If you guys aren't familiar, that is the first appearance of Victor Zaz and also Jeremiah Arkham. Uh, this one will be the week two giveaway. So just want to give you guys a heads up and uh, yeah, uh, you know the deal. Be subscribed. Also, uh, you don't have to like videos, but you can like, I prefer it if you guys like a lot of my videos, it'd be great. Also share the videos and tell people about it, you know, go for it, you know, so um, also a comment down below, but main thing is just to be a subscriber and uh, we'll do a usual random uh like a uh, wheel of names that's how it works but that's it guys uh this will be a week to give away also a thumbs up subscribe comment it's all down there somewhere so i'll talk to you guys later peace